We're back out here at the Turn 14 Distribution Solar Carport Project. Decided to do kind of a summary video and wrap the project up. So let's start with right behind me here. I've got this uh, nice long view of the carport structure. And uh, we'll start at the bottom. So you start with the concrete pier. And the concrete pier is 10 feet in the ground. That was all uh, dug out, poured in, and then framed up. On top of that, we set the vertical uprights, the steel beams. And then on top of those, you can see our nice open truss design. So rather than use a solid beam, we felt that wouldn't look as good. So we went with a nice open truss design. It just felt more um, light and modern and would have a better aesthetic overall for the project. And then on top of that, you're gonna have the purlin structure and the steel decking. As you can see, we've got some nice vehicles parked underneath here. Turn 14 is a premium auto parts distributor, so a lot of the vehicles that come to this facility um, would prefer to be protected from weather, snow, ice, things of that nature. So the carport's actually serving a nice function for that, as well as becoming a mounting place for the solar on top of it. Um, you can see we've got the gutter out front to catch all the snow and ice and water runoff. That will then follow down through the downspouts and come into the uh, come down beside the pier and wash out um, under the sidewalk curbing into existing stormwater facilities. Obviously on the top of all this you have your solar racking, your DC wiring, and your solar panels. And that energy is then fed um, down the columns and uh, into an inverter, which we're going to walk over and take a look at on the piers. And then that inverter will then feed the power underneath the parking lot and send it back over to the utility equipment out front of the building. I think that's all I want to discuss here, so let's walk through the project and look at some of the other pieces. Alright, so now let's take a look at some of the interior side here. You can see, obviously above me is the carport with the panels. And then underneath that you can see all this lovely conduit work, some of it for the LED lighting and some of it for the DC wires which are coming down to this inverter here behind me up on the upright. That inverter changes the DC power into AC power and then the AC power is then fed over and collected in these breaker panels. We did one breaker panel on each of the carports and then you can see the breaker panels then come down and go underground. All of these undergrounds will then run over here come underneath the, the parking lot and then hop up near the utility equipment out in front of the building. So that's how all the power goes from the carports over to serve the loads of the building. All right, let's go take a look at the utility equipment. So here's an example of some of the utility equipment we have on this site. So this transformer here is the new transformer that now serves the building and that obviously runs underground into the building like it always did. Um, right here, this is our control equipment and our solar meter. So this is where all the smart equipment is that monitors where energy is coming from and going to. And then that transmits all of that data to a website. So if anybody in the building wanted to see what was going on, they could log into the website. And then this is the real main part of the, um, the electrical gear. This is where all the disconnects are. So you're going to have four cabinets here side by side by side. One of them will tur we'll turn off the building, one of them will turn off the solar, and then this one right here is just where the four solar combiner panels are then recombined into this equipment. And um, if we'll walk around the other side here, we'll show you where that feeds back to the utility transformer, and then we'll show you the utility meters monitoring inflow and outflow. All right, well, let's wrap up out front here. So this is where everything comes together. Um, the electricity that's combined in the giant combiner cabinets behind us feeds into this utility transformer here. We had to bump up the utility transformer one size to accommodate for the larger um, outrush of the solar power. And then that's now monitored by these two new utility meters. We've got the in meter here, which will monitor all the building's usage um, like it always would in any traditional building and then the customer can be billed accordingly. And then we've got the solar out meter. This monitors anytime the solar is producing more energy than the building is consuming and that extra power is then pushed back into the grid. 
So between the two, the utility and the customer can then settle up on billing, whether it's the customer receiving credit or the customer receiving a bill for excess usage. And uh, now we're all done, that's a wrap, and it's time to let the customer start watching their investment work for them and watching their utility bills disappear.